Welcome to this series where we are playing the Redux Blighted Expedition for No Man's Sky in December 2022. In the last part we moved forward and we've done virtually all of Phase 2 except the pirate system which is what I'd like to do in this part. I'd also like to move on to Phase 3 and if possible we can do the Blue Expanse which is the... <laughs> Uh, we've got the Indian Drive installed now, which allows us to get a blue system. But before that, I just want to go up to the bridge of my uh, freighter. Because there's one other thing we've got to do. And if I can find it, there's view, starship squadrons, managed squadron. And we're going to spend 800 nanites to open up that. Because... We've also got a requirement here to recruit a pilot to our squadron. So we should hopefully we'll be able to do that as well. So we're just going to come back to here. In fact, there's a... We might have a very quick win here, actually, if this guy's here. Recruits a squadron. Uh, yeah, well, we'll just recruit him. And we've now got enlistment recruited today by a squadron pilot. Ah, nice quick one. This costs 800 nanites. And we can get that. Got a band, starship upgrade, starship weapons upgrade as well. We can put on the ship. Hasn't gone into the freighter or anything, so yes, it has. Suspicious shield upgrade. We'll uh, put that into the ship. Um, a suspicious weapons upgrade. What's this? Okay. Uh, cancel. Huh. We got. Uh, right. We're gonna have to move that to there. That to there. Go back to the freighter. We install that. What's this? Damage 2%. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. I don't, not really particularly that interested in that. Uh, it wasn't particularly that good. 37%. Um, right, we've got one wiring loom. Right, the next thing we got to do is... We've to find a pirate system. We need an economy scanner, not a conflict scanner. And of course I bought a conflict scanner last time, so we're going to need to go into the into here. And we'll just go up over here. Let's talk to this guy. We'll fly together. Research starship technology. And what we need is the economy scanner. You see we've got one wiring, we need one wiring loom and five microprocessors to get that. Yeah, system occupied, purchase, upgrade. Some. <laughs> get into there. Oops. We're kind of running out of space. Um, got that. I thought I had the. Didn't I pick the my multi tools up. Multi uh, okay. I have to go back to the freighter and pick up the microprocessors. Where's the? Where's the freighter? And we're coming to here. Freighter. Yeah, I thought I'd pick this up. I put all the various pirate fragments in here for the moment. Um, I think we're gonna start a couple of these because I'm gonna get a bit low on money and stuff. Um, kind of a bit. We're not gonna use that, so we're that in the Exa suit as well. Actually, there's a guy, a trader just come in. 
we might be able to get a quick win from this guy. He might sell me a microprocessor. And it would save us a trip to the space station. A trade. And of course he hasn't got any. <laughs> I will get the two Starship fuels. Another one just coming. I know it's a long shot, but... No, they basically got the same stuff, so... Okay. Uh, just... Put the... Ship fuel... Star ship. And we'll just... Where is... Space station. I certainly want the space station. Oh. Unsafe trajectory. Okay. Right, we're just going to go to the space station and see if we can get another uh, microprocessor. Right, just go up here. Hello guys, through here, this is where it would say that, right, we need one, um, I think we might need some wiring looms, I'm going to buy about six wiring looms, I think the other thing I would, I need is a mirror, um, I think over there, oh shit, uh, just bought one just bought a okay something not right going on here I buy one right, we're just gonna sell the storm crystals I'm gonna sell the gold because it's just clogging my inventory up I've got um you sell the acid the polyfiber I should have sold this some time ago that would give me a lot more cash. Now we can actually install the scanner. Thermic cell. Got the save. And what we're going to do. Right, what we're going to do is quick flip very quickly to rendezvous 3 which is in that direction but what we're looking for is a system and of course there's no pirate systems around here let's <laughs> just skip back this way what we're looking for is a, a skull or something next to the what well, used to be anyway um, that looks very much like a right we're gonna go there we can't get a pirate system we'll try and get a blue system uh, hopefully it will be a blue system it looked blue Up. We've got a blue expanse. Um, so we can listed a squadron pirate. Got here we've got a void egg, storage augmentation, hyperdrive upgrade, 800 nanites. Okay, we'll take that. Another suspicious hyperdrive module. I think what we are going to do is we're just going to into space. To look around and see if I've the pirate station. No, nope, I'm not seeing one, guys. So, what we'll do is we'll fight this system. Here, 
just get into the base station. We've got some expansions for the suit. Just buy that. Um, yeah, we'll buy that. Anything else that we've got here? Starship storage augmentation. I really need the space for tech, so upgrade ship. Fly augmentation. So we've got that done. I'm not so sure why I've got that, we'll just discard that. Got that guy. Um, never remember. What's we'll if? I think we have to sell. Um, well, we'll see if we can sell them to the another you know, tech guys. Um, see if we can sell off some junk. Vicious infinite module. Right, let's sell that. That give us another three hundred and sixty-eight. And uh, it's that can go to the exosuits. I want to keep the home up drive extension. Just off this stuff as well. It's, I mean, there's a limit to what you can get, and for a good thing, it gives another 340 down. One there, uh, nice. That tidies up a little bit of space here. Where We're going to have to work on some warp drive fuel at this rate. If we can make two or three, one or three. <laughs> right, let's just keep going and see what we can find. Get into here. don't think we need anything in this system, are we? Uh, we need to deploy a sub submarine, locate the final map fragment, ocean depths, and the lawless sky. Technology, nope. Level 3. Okay. I think what I might need to do is look up to see whether that it's actually changed. Of course, one of the problems with uh, when you're playing games is that you you can look up things and know things, and then of course what happens? An update comes along and changes it all. Mm, here. Yeah. On DV3. So, yeah. I think we'll go straight for the rendezvous. Hopefully, it won't be on the side of a mountain again. Right, it says rendezvous three on the communication station. So I think what we'll do is we'll head straight for that and see what happens. <laughs> this looks very much like it. Uh, so, yeah, this looks like it. We can. Save a little bit of time here. I we got rendezvous three. Uh, how's it from Reading? Uh, of course, we got an opportunity. Was this a big floating ball that someone's probably pushed off the top here?
so we can just get back in the ship. So we've now got um, rendezvous point three. This is another two thousand gold, another expansion. So what, what are we going to do? We need a water planet. Do this. Um, this doesn't look like a water planet. New Orleans. Okay. Uh, let's just see what else is in this system we can use. What we'll do is we'll head the okay. Got more gold. Right, what have we got in this system? Um. This helps in two other bases. Arctic planet, rocky planet. Um, it's a bit difficult to tell. Well, somebody will have some water on here. Okay. Right, we're going to head for the space station. I think it would be the next logical thing. Too high to initiate landing. Yeah, I wasn't trying to land, game. So we'll just get into here. and we can afford it and got the spaces so. and we got another exosuit upgrade <laughs> conflict scanner we could try and get the conflict scanner um, got the warren looms for the teleporter that could be useful Okay, um, what are we going to do now? I think we're just going to fly out. Right, that over there. Just see if we can get some, an Arctic planet there. That might be have potential. Get some more tritium and stuff. I was we're gonna have to stop and get some uranium. The sub where's the one that looks that really had a lot of potential? Um Arctic Planet Frozen. I think it's gonna have a quick There's a few jumps on this one, so is trading black market now that could be interesting because black market is possibly well that just says they take black market goods doesn't mean there'd be a pirate system it just means that they're happy to deal in um nefarious products and things like that discovered by slippery cheese <laughs> visited pirate territory okay so maybe it is black market also oh, it's actually on the path but they changed it it's not a skull anymore it's actually um black market i'll just show you what it looks like inside of a cell substation yeah so this is actually a pirate station and just to give you a tour of it we've got the usual ship upgrade thing here uh, I think this guy just does iffy upgrades. I think you could sell them here. I don't know if you get a better price. This guy 
he actually acts as a trader. He he will give you dodgy stuff. But was up well by the tritium. You get suspicious packages and things like that. If you've got the money, hydro cores and lava cores are good. If you're short on nanites, what else is around here? Of course, we we can get a nutshell ship upgrade. Another um, fifty thousand. So it's got most of the facilities of the other ones. Uh, go that. Pretty cool. I mean, one thing I'd like Hello Games to actually do would be on a pirate station is having a, like a range of pirate multi tools that maybe are a little bit kind of nasty. Oh well, we got some garlic help anyway. Trade symbol. Anyway, so I'm getting distracted uh, just to show you guys that so we've now completed Lawless Sky. That gives us emergency warp things, and more importantly, we get repair kits. Which, it, so we've now got that. That completes the two. We can click this reward. So that completes phase two. And we've got four microprocessors, five repair kits, blueprint. Okay. <laughs> so we've now completed phase two. And what we definitely got to do now is find a water planet. Get the Nautilus. But I'm pretty sure I actually need a. So we've done that. Okay. See, the skull's appeared now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, what have we got discovery wise here? Id Idrium glacial planet there. That looks possible. High sentinel activity. We've got to kill some sentinels. So we'll try Ramona Sigma if I can find it. Looks potential over there. Right, we're going to go there. It's got some ancient bones on it as well, so. Possibility or oh, a little bit of water on here. However, it's I don't not sure it's gonna be deep enough for what we want. These are really I don't know. We might be in business. Um it's got potential. Although it's really just a very big lake. But what it will do is allow me to land and just check out whether we got the stuff to do the Nautiland and of course we can scan some right let's just get in underwater and of course we're gonna right we need metal plating crystal sulfide and salt now of course I put the crystal sulfide in my freighter because I wasn't expecting to do this but crystal sulfide should be out there. It looks like we got that. Keep an eye out for the oxygen. This is the put away so that we don't get cooked. Um Need, what was it we needed? And we need five metal plates. That should be relatively straightforward. Famous last words. One. No. We don't have any. Oh, well, we got. So, oops, we just refine that very quickly. We need some salt anyway, so. That's pure ferrite. Got some sighted base that's got a little bit of salt in it, but it'll be nowhere near an amount we need. We actually need a salt deposit. Uh, 
back in there. Oops, put that there. That's my rusted metal. Put that in there. What we will do is go for some depth. Because we may, if we get down, I think it's 60 units below the surface, we could actually trigger the, what we call it, spherite dust, don't need that. We need salt. I thought I'd had the advanced mining laser. Yeah, I've got it. I've bought the wiring loom, so I forgot all about it. Uh, that's chlorine. I was just going to grab the chlorine from the perspective of making some money. I still need the pugnium. Ha! <laughs> Put the scatter blaster on. I knew I needed something. We'll have to keep an eye on our oxygen. We've only got. Oh, come on. There's got to be some salt here somewhere. Ferrite dust salt. Uh... It's normally loads of salt on the bottom of the planet. That's pure ferrite and carbon. Okay. That's sodium. That's sodium. Got here. Ah, oh, that's that's cryophosphate and salt. They okay, were. That's sodium. That's sodium. That's sodium. Got a feeling this lake isn't deep enough. For what we want, so just gonna have to just the ship. There it is. Maybe just um, in the ship, just recharge the oxygen. Okay, so we got a little bit of cross crystal sulfide. I'm just going to, I think we've got enough. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and, and just do a bit of refining and I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, what I'm doing is refining the chlorine back into salt. So that should give me the salt or the, uh, what we call it. Um, I'll just put that there. So if I... Just, just very quickly back under water. Right. So we're nearly there. We just need a bit more crystal sulfate because I think I've got the iron ore to make the. So what we need is a, another usually do flicky thing. Actually, I think what we'll do is. Let's get back out. Yeah. Get back out of the water. I mean, if we've got a big lake, we might actually have another one, but what I'm going to need to do. I've only got eight of these. Uh, right. We. Some more. Can we make any more. Oxygen. I've got plenty of oxygen, so five more of those. Five more of those. Right. What we're going to do is take off and see if we can find a another lake or something. It might be a little bit deeper. Of course, we're flying in the middle of a. We've got a fairly big lake here. I can find the coastline in all this murk. Uh, there's a little bit of a coast there, so we will just land here. Somebody there to scan.
Right, we'll just have a, a little bit of a swim round and see if uh, we can find some more crito basic, whatever it is. Right, hopefully the storm will clear. Right, we've got some armoured clans over there. Armoured clans are a reasonable indicator that you might be getting close to... If I'm completely honest, I seriously doubt that this will um, help us with... Um, okay. I don't think this is actually deep enough to allow us to... But it's possible. Ah, oh, there it is. There's what I'm looking for over there. But this isn't going to be deep enough for what we want. But what we will get is the ingredients for a put the Nautilon out. Well, this is only sixteen. One way that you can get that depth is by actually finding an underwater cave that goes down. Please swim, so we'll just grab that. Wow, that was was a little bit too close to that. I'm getting a little bit too relaxed. <laughs> right. Okay, here we are. We're just back on the surface here. And, and so we should have enough resources now to do this here. So let me just see. We could head for sunken activities. I get the feeling that we should really be able to do it in this system, but um, I'm not seeing it, guys. Um, we've been there. Selenium. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to move on. Move on to. Okay, so we've now. Here, let's have a look. See, a freezing planet, fungal mold, not toxic horror, intermittent core destination, imminent core destination. Again, I'm not seeing anything here that grabs me. In fact, I'm just going to move on, guys, just to. So we're going to move to this system. I mean, we can find a water world somewhere. It's just a question of getting there. Okay, so we're here. Um, we will head to the space station. Let's see, if we're right next to it. Let's have a quick look. Let's see what we got here. Explosive planet. Frost crystals. I see planet the six br four b and other bases barren planet we're kind of a bit thin on the ground with respect to water planets at the moment but that's the way the game goes when you're not looking for it you find it when you are looking for it you don't Actually, I'm aware that I'm running out of time, so what we're going to do is just do the usual due diligence here. We'll go and talk to these guys and get another there. And we'll go. What we'll do is we'll go in the back room. I wouldn't mind buying a, a pile of auction. Actually, that just occurred to me. Um, 
got no oxygen, got some more tritium, got the money for it, so buy that. Got salt now. <laughs> um, phosphorus could be useful for environmental protection. Um, we do need a mirror though. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, we've got plenty of nanites, so let's just see if this guy's got some additional um, underwater protection. Um, which is upgrade modules. Shield modules, movement modules, shield. Thermal protection. Um, thermal protection. Underwater protection module. Okay, we're going to buy that. And uh, add that to our. Okay. Let's just have a little bit of a shuffle, shuffle shuffle around a bit now. Um, powerful upgrade of the aeration membrane. Um, well that's kind of joined up with that shield lattice. That gives us breathing efficiency. That should really give us. It doesn't tell us it is actually supercharged, but um, if I take that out, put that there. 7% maybe that combination might um, give us a little bit of extra boost although if I take you there you, you're 20% that gives you gives me 25% now that's probably the better combination and that gives me some extra breathing efficiency What I will do is, I'm sure we got some gunk that needs to be refined. And then we'll just skate over here. Um, some traders, there you are. I want some oxygen. Lots and lot of, lots and lots of a trade. Stable, gold, pyrite, tritium. Ah, solar mirror. Uh, I want to like three of those. I can't remember how many one. I'm pretty sure the teleporter or the um, Nautilon needs solar mirrors. So uh, grab that. A trade. No. Pugnium. Yes, I want him because I've got uh, got this scatter blaster that needs to be installed as well because if I get that installed then I've got that which then gives me a bit more put down when the time comes to kill some sentinels so uh, ready for that um, uh, let's scoot over here um, to the long shot I know but sometimes the long shots pay off not in this case I don't think we need chromatic metal, we don't need a new amino cham chambers, okay. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. Uh, just to give you a recap, we are, we've completed phase two, we're now on phase three. Phase three should be relatively straightforward once we've actually found a water planet. We've got one of five, we've got eliminate sentinels, we've got steal a sentinel pillar multi-tool, which means we've got to find that. This seems to be a bit out of sync. And then here we've got shoot down pirates. I think I've already shot down a few. We've got eight out of 16. Maybe I should have shot up those uh, freighters. Anyway, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. This is where I'm gonna leave it. Until next time, whatever you do, Enjoy your gaming.